that was actually really easy to recreate. Okay, good. We need to get in the car. <gasps> Hello you guys, what is up? So for today's video, we're gonna be recreating the infamous, the famous Emma Chamberlain's Instagram photo. Her Instagram is just really good. She just posts a lot. She is on her Instagram game. I am not. I thought it would be a fun video to recreate her Instagram photos because she just knows what she's doing and maybe it'll teach me a few things. So we'll see. So I picked out some looks. I think we're gonna do three or four photos to recreate. So I will put them up on the screen. I obviously am not gonna have the exact clothing items as her, but I'm gonna try and pick them as best as I can to make them similar. They're probably not going to be like the same colors and all because obviously I don't have her wardrobe. So for this first one, it's just a picture of her with a hoodie and a jacket. So that's great because it is freezing. Like I'm going to freeze my ass off. I tried to pick the ones with the most clothing coverage because it's literally negative five degrees right now. Okay, so just a hoodie and then a like a black. I don't really have a black leather jacket like this at all. The only thing that I can wear that would be similar is like I have a black puffer jacket but I don't even have a green hoodie like that <laughs> so this is gonna be the jacket we're gonna wear for that one it's as close as it can get with the buttons and the collar so I'll wear that and I have a gray hoodie downstairs that I'm gonna put underneath it so we're about to pull up to our first destination we're gonna be taking the hoodie jacket photo so the good we're gonna be warm starting off warm it's literally look at the temperature zero degrees I think that's wrong because it literally feels like I'm freezing my ass off not even over exaggerating it doesn't have to be exact because we're not in LA okay we're in Canada but we want to get try and get remotely as close as possible to the location so we're gonna try hedge photo time her face is more front okay her voice is tilted the yeah. opposite way and she goes like that with her hoodie Okay, let's do a couple more. All right, that was a success. They turned out way better than I thought. Let's go next location. Okay, so the first photo actually turned out way better than I thought. Way better. I didn't think that I'd be able to get like a good, you know, representation, I guess is the word, but it actually ended up really well. The only thing that throws me off a little bit is the jacket because obviously I did wear my puffer. I didn't end up wearing the jean jacket because I was just too cold and I just felt like keeping the puffer on and it was a black jacket. So I was like, whatever. But regardless of that, the only thing that's different is like there's no fence in the back, but this was literally the closest we could have gotten. I don't think I could have gotten this any better. This is what we had to work with and I think that we did a really good job. So I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10, deducting that one point because of my jacket and then the no fence thing. But other than that, I think it's really good. Now for this one, I don't really have pink pants at all. I wish I did, cause these are really cute. But let's see what I have. I can also Photoshop these pink. These could be similar. Yeah, I mean, these kind of give off maybe the same vibe. And then for that, the top, she's wearing just like a little crop top. I think if I wear this top and then just tuck it in so that it's like really cropped, I think that'll be good. And then I can also Photoshop this to be pink to match the pants. And then I feel like that will be a similar outfit. She's wearing like little glasses in this photo. I think these are a pretty good match. So we'll wear these. We've literally been looking for a stop sign with a hedge for literally hours now. Not hours, probably 20 minutes. And we just have been unlucky. So we're gonna keep looking. We need to get the perfect spot because it's like a wraparound hedge with a stop sign. And we've been able to find a hedge and a stop sign, but not together, so. Mm. Okay, so after driving for not even joking you, literally 30 minutes. Um, we kind of found a spot. It's not perfect, unfortunately, but it'll do the job. And it's also on a very busy street, so everyone's going to be watching me, so that's also great. Also, it's literally zero degrees, and I'm not going to be able to wear a jacket. Also, she has a purse in this photo, and I didn't even realize, like, am I dumb? We're just going to get in and out because I'm going to be freezing my tatas off. We can do it, right? We can do it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Right there. Okay, that's good. Now like that. Okay, now we get one. We need to get in the car. I'm so cold. Oh, my tat is off. <gasps> there was a gust of wind and I literally... Turn on your car. To... <gasps> oh my goodness. I'm like, the gust of wind came and I'm like, this isn't real. This isn't real. I mean, it's freaking... Ah! Oh, heat, heat, heat. Lesson of the day. Do not recreate people's photos in freaking winter when they did it in the summer. Well, it was literally snowing this morning for a reference of how cold it is, okay? 
we searched around for dead ass 30 minutes before we found <laughs> the location so that did act like 10 million points but they didn't turn out exactly like i wanted but that's fine they're still pretty good i'm gonna give these a 7 out of 10 just because the background isn't exact it's kind of not the same location vibe at all obviously she has like palm trees in the back and i don't but that's like inevitable because i don't live in california honestly i'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 for the effort because we drove around for half an hour to find a place that was remotely similar and i had to strip down on my jacket in the freezing cold i was wearing this in literally snowy weather okay so 10 out of 10 for the effort on that one and i i have to give myself credit somewhere i'm gonna do the one of her in a parking garage because i feel like that will be easy to replicate just because i know where one is um we'll use the same glasses because these are like the only shaped ones that i have i don't have any in that color so we'll wear that and then i don't have anything remotely similar to her pants in this picture because they're literally cow print i feel like if anything these the most yeah so i'll wear these for that photo because like they give off a brown vibe and then she's wearing like a green top and a sweater i don't have either of those so i have a little sweater i have this sweater which is perfect i'm just gonna wear a white top because in this photo she's wearing green and green so i'm just gonna wear white and white because i don't have like a green shirt like that in regards to her jewelry i'm gonna have to edit that on because i don't have anything <laughs> like that okay <laughs> Oh, you have the buttons up wrong. They're better here. This angle is better. Yeah. Make sure more in the center. Okay, more in the center. My head needs to be more forward, kids. Alright, you guys. Oh, so it's zoomed in. Parking garage success, honestly. Um, that was really quick, too. That was probably the quickest. And we did good, I think. That was actually really easy to recreate. <laughs> Thumbs up on that one. Also, Emma girl, I don't know how you freaking do these poses so naturally because I had to warp my body in like 10 different shapes in order just to get that like tilty, tiltiness that you have. I don't know how you do that naturally. All your photos are just so well posed and it's like, I just don't know how you just come up with that in your head because I just flop like a potato when someone tells me to like look good. Props to you, girl. I think these turned out really good 10 out of 10 for these ones because this was the easiest it was really hard to warp my body but the photos did end up turning out really well the only thing was obviously i wasn't wearing like the same jewelry as her and also i forgot about this but she had her hair tied back in the photos and i did it because i did literally didn't bring hair elastic but other than that 10 out of 10 we got to give at least one of them a 10 out of 10 obviously she looks better in all of these photos because she just naturally knows how to do these cool ass poses and i don't so it looks more natural for her it was good it was good now for the next look i love this one because it doesn't show her face it's great i don't have to look good so for this one, I'm just going to wear these jeans and then I'll get my black puffer jacket. So that's easy. Okay, so we just got to the location where we're going to do the backwards photo. Or not backwards. It's like when her face is in the wall. I like that because then I don't need to try. It's just like stand, take the photo and go because this is on a busy ass street. Everyone's going to be watching. So we're forefront and center. Joel's going to hold the camera while taking the photo because we don't want to set it up. It's just too much happening at once. Like too busy, too cold. We just want to get the photo and get out of here. So I feel like this one will be the easiest because it's just one and also like it's just a backwards plain ass photo so this should be the easiest as long as you get the angle right okay good <laughs> thank god because everyone was just like <laughs> eyes on me last one when my face was against the wall i'll give this one a nine out of ten just because the location is a little bit different as you can see like i was in front of bricks and she was not but other than that it was a good recreation i mean that one was definitely the easiest and took us the quickest amount of time and also joel knew a place right away where to go to recreate this photo so it didn't take us that's why it didn't take us as much time at all but yeah that wraps up today's video thank you guys so much for watching i need to get more of my instagram game i should take some aerobic lessons or something because she's just could pose really well i don't know if it's her body type or her i don't know if it's her body that allows her to pose that cool and well i don't know what it is about her she's just very photogenic and just can pose so well whenever i try and take candid photos they just turn out looking like a potato like i'm not even joking it's just not easy for me and it looks like it comes so naturally to her i wonder if she like i wonder how many tries it takes her to take to take photos like does she do this right away does she get people to take her photos or does she take them by herself self timer situation i'm really curious she literally gets the coolest photos so emma i strive to be like you i strive to be 
be on my Instagram game, but we're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on our poses. Maybe I'll do some gymnastics. Who knows? I'll keep you guys updated. Actually, maybe yoga would be better for that. This was literally so fun to film. I love videos where I can like go out, have fun, do some cool things, you know, get out of the house for once. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I don't want to be the first one to text I don't want to leave a personal message for you Cause I don't need a hurting in my chest I don't need a circus in my head I just need you here with me instead